Vilya, you are all smiles. She is ready. She's ready to destroy the history. I wonder what I, would happen if I gave her his sap. Would she just pass out and I would have to carry around an unconscious Vilya? <clears throat> Alright, well I hope you're ready for this. We're not going to get a warm welcome at all. You are no longer one of us, Fighters Guild spy. Traitor, your life is forfeit. Also, how did they know? Unless they were- Oh, uh, Vilya went in immediately. Show me how would they know unless, um... You'll never me down. Unless they were spying on Water's Defend Edge and waiting for me to, um... You know, wind up somewhere else. Oh, but I guess because the Fighters Guild brought me in. Because members from the Fighters Guild took me to Modron, I was in Leowin. I was just on the streets of Leowin, and they brought me into Modron, so... Yeah, the Fighters Guild... Well, they didn't know I was under covers. It's not their fault. But they blew my cover immediately. I love undercover stuff. I love undercover stuff in games, in mods, and everything. And it's just so funny, because it's the thing of, Oh, go in undercover. One mission in? Ah, your cover's blown. Ah, they blew it for you. So, how are we going to get to the locked room with the history if Risa Carr himself has the key? Oh, we're gonna take it off his body. You think I care? You think I'm above, uh, taking stuff off people's bodies? I'm glad the dog's not hostile. I would be really upset if we had to kill the dog. Is that everyone in the Blackwood Company? There has to be more people than that, right? There has to be. I need to give Vilya some stuff because I just am carrying way too much right now. Hello there. What's on your mind, friend? Just need to give you some stuff, it's fine. Of course. Maybe this would be a good time to repair our armor. Alright, so let's give you... Oh, she's going to be over-encumbered soon, too. Well, I guess after this we will have to go and, um... We'll just have to go back to our house. We'll have to put some stuff away. Alright. I can't give her anything else, but we're fine for now. Yes? Anytime. I just want to check and see if there's anyone else upstairs. I don't want to get an unexpected surprise to go downstairs and immediately get attacked. Jitum Z's room. I don't think I had a key for Jitum Z's room. A new guild for fighters? Fighters Guild faces tough competition. Oh, Black Horse Courier. The Fighters Guild has been an institution in Tamriel for as long as most anyone can remember. These brave men and women have, for countless years, always been available to do those jobs that the average citizen is simply not qualified to handle. Whether it be ridding a homeowner of a plague of rats or rescuing a wayward scholar, the Fighters Guild has always been available for anyone with enough coin to pay their modest fees. Now, however, it seems that the Fighters Guild is not the only game in town. A new group has recently been making a lot of waves in Cyrodiil. They call themselves the Blackwood Company, and they've let it be known that they'll handle any job that the Fighters Guild will, and many that they won't. Which, that should immediately just be kind of a, um, a red flag right there. While the Fighters Guild has always maintained the strictest standards on both the quality of their members and the legality of the contracts they accept, the Blackwood Company makes none of the same claims. They have no screening process when accepting new members, and they seem willing to accept any contract, assuming one can afford the price tag. Once again, red flags. Some have questioned the Blackwood Company's methods. They are rumored to be reckless and indiscriminate. Many have spoken of needless damage to persons and property during the fulfillment of a contract. None of those we spoke to were willing to go on the record for this article. What the future holds for this upstart group remains to be unseen. Are they the perfect solution for a quickly changing world? Will their mef methods force the Fighters Guild to adopt more lenient business practices? Only time will tell. Until then, if you need a job and the Fighters Guild won't do it, check with your local- Why would you encourage people to go to the local Blackwood company? After everything you just said. Oh, they'll take illegal contracts. Oh, they'll do stuff that's not really right at all. Why would you encourage that? Why would you put that- 
on paper, on parchment. What the hell? Black Horse Courier, I trusted you. There's Risikar's room, alright. Oh. Oh, did I not? I thought I took the key. And there goes Vilio. I have Jitam Z's key. My bad. You there. Stop with. Oh. <laughs> you were oh. saying? We got him, Vilio. We got him. Oh, he just summoned Dramora. I'm on your side. It's fine. Don't worry. There, okay. There's Rizakar's room key. It's because I took the key off Rizakar, so I was thinking, oh, obviously it's the room key to Rizakar's room. That'll show me. You would think the Blackwood Company would have more members here. There's no one here. Oh, Come on, the show me how brave oh that wasn't Rizakar downstairs. Oh, that's why. Well, I look foolish I now. Kill you. That's my bad. I got my people mixed up as well. Slightly racist because I was like, oh, that's the Khajiit. There you go. Problem solved. That's gotta be him. I didn't look at the name at all. I have killed Rizakar. I should get into the basement, or I should get the basement key from his corpse. They knew I was coming. You would think, with everything they've heard about me, knowing that I betrayed them, knowing that I was coming, that they might hire some more people, or they might get more of their guildmates to be here. <sighs> they said that the mages are what allow it to grow, so now I'm just thinking, am I gonna have to fight off... You have the key. Great. Am I gonna have to fight off these, uh, Blackwood Company mages who are maintaining the tree? Am I gonna find out why the tree is tainted, what they did to taint it? Nope. Oh, that's that's not the basement. It makes more sense that the training room is not the basement I was looking for, because I feel like you would have noticed a uh, a big hist tree uh, down in the training room when I was there. I feel like that's hard to hide. The tree has become a perversion of nature, just surrounded by alien machinery. If I am to destroy this monstrosity, I will need to find a way to destroy the machinery that surrounds it. Oh, and he doesn't even want to talk. Okay. Here's voices in the air. Did you see that guy's name? Sings like thunder. Here's voices in the air. The most trustworthy of names. How dare you do this to the hiss? This is sacrilege. How could you? I'm offended. And you're Argonians. You should know better. Right? I'm just trying to see if there's more hist sap because we just need to get rid of it if there is. Looks like it's all just empty bottles. Maybe they're out of hist sap for now. Yeah, it looks like they're all empty. That's good. Ugh. I must say that I definitely prefer snow terrain and Roma today, I mean. Can I do something with the storage tank? I need to destroy them is what it comes down to. I need to find a way to destroy these. Loose pipe. What if I shove the pipe? There we go. Oh, is that gonna catch the tree on fire? Is that gonna set it on fire? Okay, well, we stopped that one. We still have the other side over here. Alright, this is good. I've destroyed the machinery surrounding the history, and the tree was destroyed in the process. I should return to Orion. Good riddance. Also... You're really good at breaking things, aren't you? I am, thank you. I take pride in it. Uh, also, this entire building... I don't know if it's gonna burn down. I don't know what the roof is made out of 
Walls are made of stone, so that's not gonna burn down, but I feel like... You don't want to be in here. The smoke inhalation? We would be dead super fast. You! You! You've ruined everything! Why? Why? I had a job. I had a home. You've taken it all! I'll kill you for this! Oh, vilya has been waiting for this. I'm not afraid of you. vilya has been waiting for a chance to ah! fight you, Maglier. Oh, there you are. You little fetcher, you. You little pissant. I gave you the benefit of the doubt the first time we met. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Why did you have to ruin it, huh? Goddamn Maglier. I understand now, Vilya. I understand why you didn't like him. You're a better judge of character than I am. I really hope we can get Modron back into the guild. He deserves it. So did Blackwood Company only have the one guild hall? Was that it? I feel like they definitely had more members than that. If anything, we should hunt down the others. We should make sure that none of them survive. Well? It might sound a little brutal, but you know what? They can't be trusted. Have you done it? Have you destroyed that foul tree? I have. The history's no more. The Blackwood Company is no more. Well done. With that tree gone... The Blackwood Company is just another band of mercenaries. Cyrodiil is a safer place for what you've done. I want you to take this. May it serve you well. Now, you should tell Velena Danton what has happened. Perhaps she will understand what it is we have done. I believe our work is now finished. You are a fine soldier, my friend. You've made me proud. No. Oh, I did it. I did it. I wanted him to be my friend, I wanted to make him proud, and we did it. The Helm of Orion Bearclaw? How did you find this? Last I heard, the uh, Hero of Morrowind, the Nereverine, had it. It belonged to an ancestor, Orion Bearclaw, but was lost for centuries. It was found only when Malakath wrongly believed my family line ended. Wait. It was returned to me by a stranger from my homeland, Morrowind. Wear it proudly. Perhaps you can help restore the glory of my family's name. Wait. Oh, I need to go back and check my Morrowind modded playthrough. Was the family line that Malakath told me to end Orion's, Orain's house? Orain's family line? Oh, whoa! And I guess the Nereverine just decided like, hey, you guys can have this now. Tell her right away. I was worried I would be over encumbered. I'm glad I'm not. Oh, the Helm of Orion Bearclaw. Oh, I forgot about this. Helm of Orion Bearclaw. Fortify agility, fortify endurance. It's not the prettiest thing. Like, even slightly. But you know what? I love it. Uh, it kind of looks a little like a Halloween costume. It's like, oh yeah, you're just, uh... You're just inside of its helm. Or in inside of its skull. But yeah. I'm sorry I have to repair my armor anyway, so let's just very quickly do that before we head over to Danton. Alright. We are set. Oh, man, I'm not going to be able to get used to this for a little while. I wore it all the time in my Morrowind Mod playthrough too. As soon as I got it, I wore it nonstop. But it's just, it's a funny looking helmet. It's fantastic, but it's a little funny looking, and you can't tell me otherwise. You know, I have a nice helmet, but that came from Modron. That came from his personal collection. Miss Danton better pay me well for this. I've done the entire guild a huge hey. service. And I hope that my efforts do not go unrecognized. Well met. What is it you want? You were told to stay out of my sight. I'll assume you're here to tender a resignation. You know what? I'm here for your resignation. What did you do? What did you do to save our guild? That's right. Our guild. I'm as much a member as you at this point. But me and Modron, the man that you kicked out of your guild, we stopped the Blackwood Company. We found their secrets. We stopped them. We avenged your son. You're welcome. You've done what? I, I had no idea it had gotten so bad. How is it you accomplished all of this? 
I worked with Modron Orain. With Orion? He was dismissed. I should expel you now. But no. It isn't Orion who is to blame. I fear it is I. It is. I love the Fighters Guild and all its members, perhaps to a fault. I fear my concern for them has made me blind to what's been happening around me. If it were not for you and Orion, I dare not think it. Now we must speak about what you've done and how it will affect any further advancement. That sounds like a threat. That sounds like a threat. It's like, let's talk about what you did and how it's going to affect your future here. That sounds like I'm getting fired. And if you fire me, I swear to all the good... All, I was going to say gods and divines. I swear to all the divines, all nine of them. Hopefully no one will ever tell us that we can't believe in all nine. That would be terrible. Because of your actions, I am hereby stripping you of your rank of champion. What? You were reckless, foolhardy, and dangerous to yourself and the guild. I saved everyone! They were also brave and necessary. Because of this, I am hereby naming you Master of the Fighters Guild, effective immediately. Oh, okay. The guild has passed me by. You are its future. Take your responsibility seriously. I wish you luck. You still have many duties to perform. Maybe that's not the best way to go about that conversation. Maybe that's not the best way to start off that conversation, because I was very angry at you for a second. That's probably why you're so upset right now, because I just yelled in your face, and she was thinking, I just... I was gonna... I was gonna surprise him that he's in charge now. Also, thanks for asking if I want to be in charge. You ever think of that? Your first duty should be to name your second in command. I can think of no one better for this job than Modrin Orion. Should he accept the position, you would be well served. Rely on his wisdom and experience more than I did, my friend. Good luck. If anything, he deserves to be Guildmaster. Goodbye. Right? I think he, as a member of the Fighters Guild for longer, as the one who made sure all of this happened, I think he's the one who should be Guildmaster. It's more so the thing of, it's the Elder Scrolls. You become the leader of whichever guild you want, and that's why you become leader. But, man, he deserves it. He was my mentor. He helped me through the ranks. I would not be where I was today if it wasn't for Modron or Rain. And everyone is saying his name differently, because she said Modron Orion. I've heard other people say Orion. Mm. I heard Burz Grokash say um, Modron or Rain, which is why I started saying Orain. So you know what? We need standardized pronunciations for people's names. Otherwise, I'm going to get more confused than I already am. And I'm plenty confused all the time. So, what happened? I have good news and better news. Did you speak with Felena? How did she react? She resigned. I'm in charge, and you, if you accept, shall be my second in command. Ha! Made you Guildmaster? Amazing! You earned it, though you'll likely muck it all up. <laughs> so, what are you going to do with your newfound rank? I have to choose a second in command, and I choose you, my friend. Me? Pa! I was just getting used to being retired. You can see how good my painting is getting. I'm an old man. I've done my time. Then again, someone has to keep you in line. <laughs> Make sure you don't bring the guild down around our ears. I love them. I'll do it, guild master. Just come to me when you want to assign duties to the guild. I'll make sure they get done. I love it. Modron, you and I are going to do just fine, buddy. Well, you're in charge. You won't be doing the contracts, but the master is always paid a percentage of the guild's monthly take. Ooh. Check with me monthly to give orders for the month. I'll make it happen. If I don't hear from you, I'll follow the previous month's orders. You can find your monthly stipend in the master's chest upstairs, along with anything we find that you might find useful. Here's the key. Ooh. All right. So, what are your first orders, guildmaster? Focus on recruitment, focus on getting contracts, focus on both equally. We've lost some people. We've lost some people thanks to, we're well not thanks to, but because of the Blackwood Company. Let's focus on recruitment, we, get our, we need to get our numbers back up, we need to get new, 
strong-willed fighters, and then we can focus on contracts. Not a bad idea. We can use more men in the ranks. It has its advantages. It gives the guild a greater presence, makes people notice. Plus, members often find items in their travels they can't use, and they leave them here for other members to use. Sometimes there's nice stuff. Alright, so I'll check in with you next month. Yes, Master. Whatever you say. I could get used to that. I'm glad that Modern Rain will run the day-to-day -day business of the Fighters Guild. That leaves more time for you and I to go adventuring. Serious question. Is this actually from Oblivion? I've seen this picture before. Was this actually from Oblivion? Did he just draw himself stabbing our Argonian prisoner? And he's even tied up in everything. Look at his hair. Look at his smile. You weren't kidding. Your painting is really coming along. Yeah, don't quit your day job that I just gave you. Alright, so it is... The 20... The 22nd of Sun's Dusk. So my question is... Do I have to wait a full month, or do I just wait till the start of next month? Either way, we did it. We saved the Fighters Guild. There's probably not going to be any gold in the uh, Guildmaster's chest right now. So, <laughs> we're not going to bother with that. But hey, in the meantime, let's head back to the Imperial City. Let's go to the arena. We have to keep on making a name for ourselves there. So I got to the Imperial City and I realized that I shouldn't be there. I realized that I need to put away my gear first because we are nearly over encumbered. I realized that if I went to the arena, I would have to drop a lot of things so I can put my raiment on and let's just focus on making sure that we're not close to over encumbered. That I'm not that close and that Vilya isn't that close. So a little bit of inventory management. I'll be ready in a second. That's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Oh boy, here we go. What are your thoughts on Skooma? Oh, alright. It's a dangerous drug. Yes, I thought you would say so. And you're probably right. I wouldn't want to become a Skooma addict, would you? Wait. Was Vilya thinking about... taking Skooma? Talk later. You're just casually thinking about taking skooma? I'm a little concerned now, Vilya. Vilya, calm down there. Just... Just give me your stuff. We just need to put stuff away, okay? Just calm down. There's no skooma in this household. You can't have any. Alright. Down to 287 at a 385 carry weight, and Vilya is also under the 300 mark. So I think we're good to go. Um... You know what? You wait here. You wanted to talk to me? Instead of coming with me to the arena, you just hang out at the house. Just have fun. If you say so. We'll catch up later. You can, uh, go into the bedroom. You can rest. You don't have to stand in the stairwell. No? You're just gonna stay there? Alright. You do you, Vilya. You do you. You're about to face off against the best the yellow team has to offer. Azura knows you're the best the blue team's got. The best, you say? Remember when you said I was terrible and that I was just a bootlicker? And now I'm the best you've got? The first yellow team hero you'll face is an Imperial in heavy raiment. He fights with an Akaviri longsword. Thing is, this guy used to be a blade. Oh! You know those guys who protect the Emperor? He's a trained swordsman, so keep your damn head down! Oh! I'm with the blades. Wait, I'm over encumbered. Oh, because... God damn it. I'm over encumbered because I had items that boosted my strength. Oh, damn it. Hmm. I didn't think that one through. No one touched this. I will be back for my... Oh, what should I put away? 
I'll come back for my greaves and my boots. Let's do that. Just to be safe. Not that I can pick anything else up, but yeah, just put those away. It's fine. You think I would take a little bit of a vacation. It's like, oh, you just uh, defeated the Blackwood Company. You're now Guildmaster of the Fighters Guild. No. Nah. Me, I'm going to go risk my life to make some money. Because apparently I still think I need more Good money. people of the Imperial City. Welcome to the arena. Behold, as two heroes meet in the fighting pit for an epic battle worthy of song. Combatants, begin! Uh, I was expecting a little bit more of an intro for a guy who used to be a member of the Blades, but... Maybe that's just me. Will you fall down and bleed to death? I'm always so jealous because they'll talk about, you know, the weapons and everything that they use, and then you go, oh, well, I can't take it anyway, so you're just making me jealous. You'll never leave this Ooh, watch out. This guy's got a really cool enchanted sword. Not that you can use it. Ooh, watch out. This guy used to be a member of the Blades. He's got an Akaviri sword and shield and helmet. You can't have those either. Like, you're just, you're teasing me with that. Will you fall down and bleed to death? Oh, there we go, staggered. Listen, so we could use We could use another blade right now. We're defending the very last septum known to the entire world. We could use your help, please. Don't make me kill you. Damn it, he moved. Good people. The combatant from the blue team. Victor from the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You earned it. I like how the shield isn't worth anything. I like how the katana isn't worth anything. It's probably because I can't take it, but still. I feel like they should be worth something. If anything, they wouldn't be worthless. They would be priceless. Defeating an arena hero is one thing, but defeating a former member of the Blades? You must be blessed by the Divines or something, my friend. I'm also, uh, <clears throat> Master of the Fighters Guild. You're welcome. You're a hero, my friend. That crowd is out there for one reason, to see you destroy the Yellow Team. Now go give them what they want! I'm all about it. I'm ready for a match. Okay, hero. This next opponent is a High Elf Wizard. A master in the School of Destruction. But wait, it gets worse. Oh? He also uses an enchanted shield called the Grey Ages, which gives him some serious magic resistances. Your best bet is to just charge straight this in. This is exactly what I was talking about. Press the attack, and don't give him a chance to let off a spell. I don't want to have to sweep your ashes out of the arena. This is exactly what I was talking about. He's got a cool shield. You can't have it. He's got a cool, unique shield. Nah. I got it. It goes to the family. It goes to the next of kin. That's kind of a, hey, sorry that they died, but I want it. I don't care about next of kin. I care about me. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. Put your hands and your voices together for the two brave heroes who have come to rock the very foundations of this arena. Lower the gates! All right, we're gonna use, we're gonna use Paralyze. I need to get some hits in. Oh, and they resisted it! Oh! Oh, that'll show me. Ha, you'll never take me down. Fire damage resisted. Show me what you got. He's just running in circles around me. Oh wait, he, did he resist all of it? Oh. Also, I just realized, is he restoring my Magicka? Because my Magicka went back up very quickly before. Maybe as like an area of effect restoration spell or something that he's using for some reason? Ooh, I need to heal up. Oh, I can't get over the little helmet on my head. Oh, 
potion of... Please tell me I have healing. I do, I have weak, but that's fine. Can't drink any more potions right now. Yeah, you're full. Go figure. Oh, almost, almost. Oh, he got back in time. Oh, he knew. Hey! We have Jesus! All hail the combatant from the blue team. Do you team. see this? Victor from the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You earn it. I want this. First off, it's worth 15,000 gold. Second off, it's probably got some cool-ass enchantment on it in that case. You don't see anything. This is coming with me. You don't see me. Bullshit. How would they know? Minus the fact that they saw me just carry it off. Oh, I want it. I want it just to sell it, if nothing else. Damn it. They're making me jealous. What good is being a hero if you can't have the stuff you want? I'll be honest, hero. With the kinds of victories you've been having, I knew that elf didn't stand a chance. Here's your gold. All right. You're at the end of a long road, hero. This is the last time you'll face off against the yellow team before being named champion. Go up to that arena and make sure the people of Cyrodiil never forget that it was you who brought the yellow team to its knees. Who am I up against? Also, Guildmaster and Champion in the same day? I can dig it. Alright, this is it. Your last fight against the yellow team. I guess you could say they saved the best for last. Oh. The three best, actually. Oh no. You're up against a swordsman, an archer, and a spellcaster. Two lower level combatants, plus that yellow team champion you've seen down here. You beat all three and you get named champion. I know you can do this. Now get up there and show everyone why you're the best. Oh wait, there's one more thing. I sent Pork Chop the Boar up to the arena to help you out. Oh. He'll at least keep one of them distracted. Now good luck. Why thank you. Well, I appreciate that. Yellow team combatant? There's been a yellow team combatant down here? That shows what I know. Stop talking already! I didn't even say anything to you. Leave me alone. Don't yell at me, ma'am. I'm sorry. Man, that shows what I know. I didn't notice a yellow team member down here at all. If it wasn't for the boar, I would have called Vilya in to help, but they gave me the boar, so I feel like I'm alright. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. I got pork chop. I give you the Blue Team's Hero! Can this brave combatant defeat three opponents and become the next champion? Let's find out! We're gonna start off using our Magicka. We need to deal as much damage as we can as quickly as we can. Ah. Oh, and there you are. Oh. I still need to restore my, um... My wisdom, I think my wisdom or my intelligence did get drained earlier and I still need to restore that. So that's my bad. Pork chop, do not die on me! Do not die on me, pork chop, I need you! This matches mine. Oh, you think so? Oh, pork chop's still kicking. Pork chop! Oh god, pork chop, please bite her ankles. Show her you mean business. She doesn't even care about Porkchop. She knows it's all just a ploy. Alright, alright. Porkchop, did you kill the other one? Porkchop, you crazy! Alright, quick. Gotta get in there, gotta get in there. Oh, okay, oh, I think they missed. No, they didn't even fire the arrow. I need you to stand still for me. I need you to stop running away from me. Where, where are you going? 
You gotta calm down. Back into the corner. What? Screw you, dude. Screw you. I think those are all of my healing potions. Got a lot of potions in general, but um... Why are you running so fast? Who gave you all that skooma? And that missed. That's what you get. Well done. Pork chop, we did it. You and me. We're the real champions. Us as a team. Nah, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to say anything. Probably because he's a pig. Boar. You know. <laughs>